And I was dedicated. I mean, I, I went all in and I lost everything. Is it possible for a person with zero experience in networking and zero experience in the world of Cisco systems to not only get those skills, but also get those skills and just rock it? So my first introduction was quite abrupt in the world of Cisco systems. I had become Novell certified earlier on and then Microsoft certified and gained those skills. And then I was approached by a company that wanted to do Cisco training. And they asked me on the phone, it was late one night, I was in my backyard pacing and they asked me, hey, do you, uh, we're thinking about doing Cisco. Uh, is that something you can do? And I said, oh yeah, no problem. I had no idea. I had never logged onto a Cisco router. I really didn't understand the details of how they operate. I knew they existed, but I wasn't experienced with it. So I said yes, and that started my journey and in investigation of getting those skills. So one of the first things that I did was I purchased a couple of routers. Now, back in those days, it was the 4000-R modular router. I got them used, there's two of them, and it was close to $5,000 for those two old routers. And I didn't know what I didn't know. Uh, and so I ordered them say, thinking I had to get some practice. They show up, I unbox them, and there's no ports. There's no like networking ports. There's a console port, but there's no networking ports. It was a modular router, had no modules. It's like a one, it's like a hose with one end. It's like, what do I do with this? So that was an education in itself. So I, I went back and I ordered some additional modules to plug in and, and that was the beginning. I did not know how the console port worked or how to get basic access to it. It was just a huge, huge learning curve. Now this gear, which I just got out of some boxes I have at my house here, I had lots of gear. I mean, I still remember, that's the key. I still remember what it feels like to be brand new to Cisco. Um, I still get excited with new technologies with Cisco. So these adapters go into these ports, Gigabit and our GBIC adapter and SFP adapters to handle certain types of fiber. I still remember when I was learning about fiber and the different types of fiber cable and the different types of fiber connectors. And tell you what, the first time I connected two devices together over fiber and it worked, I was like, oh. And I still love it that way. It's still really, really cool. Um, I learned about cables like this UTP category six cable is a crossover cable. I can look at it and identify that it is. Now, why is that important? Well, we don't start off that way. We don't start off knowing anything. In fact, this little adapter takes a normal cable, like a normal patch cable and makes it a crossover cable. Super, super cool. Here's a console cable, which is a rollover cable, pin one to eight, pin eight to one and all the way through. And when I was starting, I didn't know any of that. And some of my experience, I'm 55 now. I've been working with IT for about 35 years in Cisco, ever since about 1999. And I love it. And I'm still excited and I still remember what it feels like to not know jack diddly nothing about it. So I thought to myself, I, I'm obliged. I, I owe a lot of people a lot of favors. And, and here's why, um, back in about, so I got my CCIEs, my first one in 2001 and another one in 2003. In about 2007, 2008, I thought I'd had enough of the IT world, and so I started a separate business. I, we'll talk about that detail in another, but I started this whole separate business, and I was dedicated. I mean, I, I went all in, and I lost everything. It's, uh, I don't think I've ever <laughs> publicly mentioned that before, but I lost everything about 2007, 2008, 2009, done. My net worth was negative, and so I dusted off my security skills and my networking skills and my routing skills, which fortunately, because I had trained really hard for many, many years up to that point, they came back pretty easily. And then I started putting them to work and that saved my life. I'm so grateful for the world of Cisco. And I know several people who went from almost zero to hero, two of them who work for Cisco and are stellar in just a matter of, you know, eight to 10 years. And it's incredible. It's step by step by step by step. So, my, to cut to the quick, my goal is because I have a lot of experience and I still remember what it's like to not know anything about Cisco, I am going to dedicate some time every week as part of this channel in helping people uh, with their biggest fears about getting certified, whether it's CCENT or whether it's the full CCNA. Uh, but I like to focus on routing and switching first. And then if we want to, if there's enough demand for it, we'll look at security as well. But what I would love you to do is I'd like this to be driven by you, 
by taking action. I'd like you to put in the comments, what are the biggest concerns that you have? Uh, like, what are the fears? What are you afraid of? What do you, what do you need that you don't have now that you want, as far as knowledge-wise, to move forward? And if you jot those down, I will build videos based on those popular responses. So as you look at the comments, if someone mentions, um, like, how do I get hands-on practice? If somebody says that, just give it a thumbs up. And that way, when I see that with thousands of thumbs ups, I'll realize, okay, I need to focus on that. Back in the day, we had to buy equipment if we wanted hands-on practice. There's just no two ways about it. But now, there are several fantastic and very low-cost options and free options for getting some hands-on practice. So um, I will cover any of those details that you'd like. Also, I didn't take like the CCNA exam like a decade ago and that's it. Every time that revs, I take it again. I wanna see what's on it. I wanna understand how closely it matches the blueprint. That may be another question as well. It's like, okay, well, how do, I, how do I attack this as far as learning it and studying it? I've got great ideas that I'd be happy to share. And all I want you to do is just ask. We'll get the majority votes on what you want to know about and see and hear. And we'll do some quick and easy videos on all those topics. And that'll be my way of paying back a little bit for not just networking in general, but Cisco. And those skills that I got in Cisco, basically pulled me out when I was in a really, really big mess financially. And I'm grateful. So I owe a lot to Cisco. I also had the opportunity over the past several years to teach at Cisco Live. I got this little puppy. And I'll tell you, <laughs> that's my CCA security plaque. He'll be okay. I'll fix him in a minute. Um, this is the Cisco Live Distinguished Speaker Hall of Fame Award that I got last year. They awarded it to me. And it's for speaking uh, for five years at Cisco Live and being in the top 10% of all speakers at those conferences. And, and that means a lot to me because that is based on voting and the opinions and the effectiveness of the learners who are actually participating in those sessions. So I get a lot of joy, frankly, about helping other people and assisting other people. And that is a very compelling reason why I'm gonna allocate some time every week towards CCNA for Cisco systems for routing and switching in this channel. So that'll include CCENT as well as the CCNA. So I'm looking forward to the journey together in this channel. I'm also looking forward to helping relieve some of the fears or concerns or um, expectations that you might have that are causing you grief, helping you to overcome those. And also being a little bit older because I'm 55 now and I've had a lot of experience, I am acutely aware of many of the blind spots and roadblocks and obstacles that come in the way in this world of IT. And so I have some additional resources that I'll throw in as well that can help you to get to your goal. And if one of your goals is to get a CCNA this year or next year or, or sometime in the near future, please join us here in this channel. Click on subscribe, hit the bell so you see every alert for new videos. And I'll see you in those videos and they'll be based regarding CCNA. They'll be based on your comments of what you wanna see and how we can solve those challenges. So thanks for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.